Well, while most people who contract COVID-19 will have mild symptoms, there are those people who are living high risk. Ashley Tresseline has multiple sclerosis and is here to now talk about why it's so important for her and everyone to take the proper precautions out there. So Ashley, just to start things off, welcome to the show. Can you tell us how you've been handling uh, this quarantine? And I know you've been doing some cooking videos with us here. Yeah, I mean, I've been able to work from home and do some virtual cooking classes and to talk to my friends, but quarantine hasn't quite been the same for me. Now that the restrictions have been lifted, I can't go to public places like my friends and there's been some events and things, so I haven't been able to go, which, you know, is a little difficult, but I've been doing what I need to do and being active and getting outside. That's very good. So as a relatively blank canvas on MS, can you talk to people out there who may not know uh, much about it? I understand it, it, it attacks the nerves through the immune system. Yeah, it is an autoimmune disease and it does attack the nervous system. The funny thing about having MS that people seem not to understand is simply having MS doesn't make you high risk for COVID. It's the risk of when you get it, you're more likely to have a severe case of it because of long-term issues that you may be having, the disease-modifying therapies you're on, um, any things that you have had over the years, because all of us are very different. Yeah, there's absolutely no doubt about that. And I mean, this this coronavirus, it doesn't uh, discriminate, but those that it does uh, hit for some reason, uh, well, not for some reason, as MS and as you've kind of broken down here, um, it, it can really take a toll. So um, what out there message would you like to get out to people who are currently uh, battling MS as well? Where, where should their head, heads be at? Take your precautions, um, make sure you're staying active, um, taking care of your mental and physical well-being. If you live in a house with someone with MS, make sure you're taking the proper precautions when you leave the house. Wear a mask. Uh, when you come home, wash all your touch surfaces, wash your hands. Um, because if you go out and you bring it home, that person can still get sick. And um, especially if they have small children, we need to be more aware of that now that school's gonna go back in session. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about that. Something to be cognizant of, even for those who don't have MS or even know somebody with it. If you're going out and about uh, taking those proper precautions to prevent it from spreading to others as well. So how about, how's therapy been? How is like recovery? How is all that working uh, right now in the quarantine? Can you still go to the doctors? How's that going? I've had some virtual visits with my doctors. I do things to keep myself physical and active. Um, I have a trainer I see once a week, which... I do virtually, I like to get outside and move when I can, but I still have my bad days and my good days. And I'm glad that I'm able to still work in some way while I'm home, because a lot of people are unfortunately not allowed to work a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. Keeping a semblance of normal, I'd imagine, then is something that, that has really helped you kind of get through this. So um, let's say somebody out there does have MS. They'd love to speak with you because you clearly do have the, the proper mindset going through this thing. You're keeping your, your head on straight. If somebody wanted to get in touch with you, would it be okay to send them your way maybe just to, you know, have, have a like mind? Of course, if they ever wanted to talk to me about having MS or anything pertaining to health and wellness, I'd love to talk to them. You just need to make sure we're all taking our proper precautions. I mean, if we live in a multi-generational home or you live with anyone with high risk, not just someone with MS, you need to be careful because whatever we all do, we affect somebody else. Not wearing a mask could mean that the person you live with could get sick because you didn't take the proper precautions. No doubt there and get in touch with you through like Bella Foodie or something along those lines. Yes, they can get in touch with me at bellafoodie.com or on Facebook or Instagram. Good stuff, Ashley. Be well. Thank you for uh, enlightening us all here today, okay? I hope you stay healthy, stay well, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you for having me. You too. Be well.